you hunt or hike or fish or spend any kind of time in the outdoors, you may run into a situation, depending on where you do those things, that you need a firearm. Now, carrying on the hip in a traditional form, something like that, might not necessarily be optimal, uh, either for a uh, comfort level or maybe the type of clothing you're wearing. And so that's why today we're going to take a look at the Alien Gear Cloak Chest Holster. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Now, big shout out to Alien Gear for sending me this holster to check out. I do think it has quite a few applications, and we're going to talk about a few of those applications today. Before we get started here, just fair warning, we're on the back side of the range, and for the regulars, you know, there's going to be a little bit of traffic noise. Also, a little bit windy today, so that could be an issue as well. We're going to try to tough through it, though, and get this done. Now, as you've seen in the intro, whether you're hunting, hiking, fishing, whatever it might be, uh, if you're able to wear a light little athletic jacket or something like this, that's going to be plenty enough to give you cover for that firearm. Now, with all the activities mentioned, there's one piece of gear that we can throw into the mix here and see how things work out, and that's going to be a backpack. So I've got my backpack on here, and one thing I noticed right away is that depending on the positioning of these cross straps that's on your backpack, that might be a problem for you. Now, I don't use these, so it's not a problem for me. But we can see if I actually clip this little cross strap, that's right over where the holster firearm set but let's assume for a second that that's not a deal breaker for you you don't really need that strap how easy is it to get to well it's just about that easy so let's step it up another notch here since a lot of the hunting seasons happen in colder weather let's put on a little heavier jacket Let's see how well everything works that way. All right, so I've got the heavier jacket on. It's certainly not a day to be wearing this. I don't want to wear it long or I'll really be sweating. Let's see how effective and how easy it is, I guess, to get to my firearm. Now, I would say that's pretty darn easy. Now I can hear some of you out there now and you're saying, but Clover, in a hunting situation, you're gonna have your rifle, right? So why do you need a handgun? Well, the first thing I can think of is range. If you're using a rifle like this, this is my 300 Weatherby Magnum. It's not sighted in for 10 or 15 yards for some type of the threat, you know, a bit of snake or you know, I don't know, maybe some type of rabid varmint, it could happen, right? Plus, I'm shooting $70 a box, $80 a box ammunition in this thing too. So, not really optimal. Uh, the other thing is, odds are if I'm walking around, this thing's gonna be over my shoulder. So, still gonna take some time to get that firearm out, load it, and get up to be able to fire. And so that begs another question, or rather gives us an opportunity to talk about hunting safety. And that's, you know, when you pull this off your shoulder, you're gonna have to load it. Because hopefully, at least if you're not walking through the woods hunting, right? Let's say that you're, you're walking through the woods squirrel hunting, I get it. You're walking through a pasture, you're bird hunting, I get it. But if you're to and from in between your stand, you know, your deer stand or whatever, your hunting spot and your vehicle, um, hopefully you don't have one loaded in the chamber and you've got the safety on. So let's look at this again from the opposite shoulder because first of all, long walk with your long gun, you may switch shoulders and depending on if you're right hand or left hand, who knows? But either way, we've got to pull this off. Now this particular rifle I'm going to go slow here on purpose. I can't open a bolt with the safety on. So i got to flip the safety off. I've got to load it. 
and then get on target. Let's demonstrate this one more time from the shoulder at a little more realistic speed. Now saying that having a chest rig like this Alien Gear Cloak chest holster is going to be a plus in every situation, that's not what I'm saying. And let me demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, we're hunting. We've got our heavy jacket on. We've got our long rifle. Let's say it's over our strong hand. I'm right-handed. It's over our strong-handed shoulder. I'm walking through the woods. There's my threat or snake or rabbit skunk, whatever it might be. Unzip. I'm right-handed. My right hand is busy with my rifle. What am I going to do? At that point, I've got to be aware of where my rifle is at. Sling to the opposite side. Now, the thing with that is, if you watch that, you've seen my previous demonstrations with just taking the rifle off and loading it, which was actually quicker. Now, I'm sure we can go back, we can look at timestamps, we can figure that out. But for me, switching sides with my rifle and drawing my revolver is still quicker to me than getting the rifle off my shoulder, safety off, loaded, on target. And since I'm at a closer distance here, makes a little more sense to use the proper tool for the job. So now that I've got my light jacket back on, let's talk about a little bit of the, the features and the design of this Alien Gear Cloak chest holster. Now, it's got three straps. They all kind of come together in the back in a pad. It's got a shoulder pad on it, and it all attaches right here with a little clasp. Now, I know there's going to be questions out there as far as which firearms you can get this holster for. And let me tell you right now, Alien Gear is awesome about having a wide variety of holsters available. Now, if you hop over on the Alien Gear website and you don't see your particular model available for this holster, shoot them an email, give them a call. Odds are they can do a custom shop order for you. Shipping will take a couple of extra weeks, but they'll get you taken care of. And proof of this is actually the revolver that I'm showcasing today. It is my Taurus Protector Poly. And I've got two Alien Gear holsters actually for this because not many companies make holsters for this particular model. Now for those that want some more information about the Alien Gear Cloak chest holster, I will throw some links in the description below. So be sure to check those out. Question for everybody out there. Can you see a potential benefit in any other type of application for this Alien Gear Cloak chest holster? If the answer is yes, then please let me know in the comments below. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.